so you're alluding to it here, but do you have any, do you have any regular practices or routines of supplements or, or plants that you take for certain things? Yes, definitely. Um, of course, cannabis, cannabis, of course, kava is a big one. I have a kava tincture and I often have trouble sleeping. I have a very overactive brain, very chatty. So mm -hmm. it's hard at the Same end here. of the night and and sometimes cannabis just like amplifies that if I'm not, you know, careful to be very intentional around what exactly I'm consuming. And so kava really helps to calm it down, especially if I have five milligrams THC of an edible, if some CBN is in there and some CBD even better, and then pull in some kava, I'll sleep like a friggin' baby. I love chlorophyll. <laughs> that hence my example. I love chlorophyll. And I also really love like the an, rate. an over the counter Thing? Oh Just, yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. You can get it at a, really any health food store, even at a more health geared supermarket. They'll mm. even have. And sorry, uh, when do you take that? Or for what do you take that? I take that for digestive health, but I've also found that when used in combination with CBD tincture in particular, as well as some of these like medicinal mushrooms, such as reishi and, and chaga, that it creates a really beautiful like mental clarity, but also helps to calm down all the background chatter. So it, it like in, in the way that I can describe the experience, it, it has a calming, but also alerting effect, if that makes sense. I feel like if I had your sort of your brain and your knowledge of cannabis, I'd be trying to apply it to 10 different things in my life or 10 different reasons to take it. Do you find yourself doing that? Or are you just now, these are the one or two things that I use that for. And then you know, the rest I might solve in other ways. In the beginning, when I entered into the industry, 2015, absolutely was trying every different kind of product and application for every different thing. And I still do that in some ways, but I've definitely honed in on products that I like and products that I don't like. For example, I am not a fan of concentrates. I just don't like the carts. I get that they're for some people and they're discreet, easy to use, measured dosing, all of that. But that's something like I a small don't... vape, like a dosist or something. Is that? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's just not for me. So any of those like extracts or concentrates, just not for me. I like topicals. I use them rarely, but I like them when I need them, but really stick to my two true loves of flour, just like beautiful, organically grown, just craft flour and then edibles. I'm a big fan of edibles. I'd say that that's probably my preferred. And I've come to learn and just reckon with myself that edibles are not for everything. <laughs> that they're not always fun, but in certain cases they can be very fun.